So this one's just for Adam, guys. Nobody else is allowed to watch this video. <laughs> just teasing. So Adam, you were asking about two absolute values. This is the one that confuses you the most. So um, if I have two absolute values, what I want to do is I want to put them on opposite sides of the equation. So I'm going to get 2x plus 3 equals absolute value of x plus 4 plus 6. So all I did was add that um, absolute value of x plus 4 over to the other side. So now, if I have two absolute values, I have to consider all of the scenarios. Because we know that what's inside here can either be positive or negative. So I'm going to consider um, all the scenarios where they're both positive. Um, I could have them both be negative. Or I could have positive negative or I could have negative positive. So there are four different situations that we're going to solve and we're going to just solve them independently. So let's just assume that they're both positive so that I get 2x plus 3 equals x plus 4 plus 6 because if they're positive I really don't need the absolute value signs, right? I can just take them away. So I get 2x plus 3 equals x plus 10. And if I subtract everything over, I get x equals 7. So that is one of my possible answers. Just hold that aside for now. So for b, let's assume that um, 2x plus 3, let's assume the first one is positive, but the second one is negative. So if I make this guy negative, that is going to be negative x. Think of it like as in parentheses, sorry, negative x plus 4 plus 6. So if I distribute that, I get negative x minus 4 plus 6. So you see how I just distributed that negative sign? And now I combine like terms, so I get 2x plus 3 equals negative x plus 2. I move this over, I end up getting 3x, and I move that over, I get negative 1, so x equals negative 1 third. So that is my second choice. Now I can keep doing this, I'm not going to do them all. So for c, I can assume, let's see, we did positive, positive, oh sorry, this is my equation here. So I did positive, positive, I did positive, negative, so let's do negative, positive. So let's do, in parentheses, negative 2x plus 3 equals x plus 4 plus 6, because that one's positive in this case. We get negative 2x minus 3 equals x plus 10. If I continued this down, I would get x equals negative 13 over 3. Just trust me on that one. <laughs> and then for D, I could assume that they're both negative then. So we would have negative 2x plus 3 equals negative x plus 4 plus 6. If I continue this down, I end up getting x equals negative 5. So you see how I, all I did was four different scenarios, positive, 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 negative, 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 positive, and both negative. So, and you solve each one separately, pretend they're in parentheses and just distribute. But now, um, it can only cross two time if I have two absolute value um, equations. They can only cross at the most twice. So I have to test all four of these back into the original equation and see which ones give me a true answer. This is by coincidence, but the two that are fractions end up canceling in this case. That is not always the case, so don't assume that you're automatically going to cross out your fractions, because sometimes those are the two that work, and these are the two that end up canceling. So that was just by coincidence. Sorry, you guys. So the answers are just x equals 7 and x equals negative 5, and those are our two answers.